Welcome back, everyone. This next uh, talk should be exciting for everyone considering Bitcoin is hitting all time highs again and everyone's interested on how best to get that 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 Bitcoin and those fresh new crypto users over to Polkadot. Uh, so this presentation is by Alexei Zemyatin, co-founder and CEO of Interlay on Polka BTC, trustless DeFi for Bitcoin on Polkadot. Take it away. Hi, just give me one more second. I'm having some issues with the screen and there we go. Cool. So, hi, thanks. Um, great to be here. I'm Alexei. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Interlay, cool. and I'll talk about Polka BDC, the trustless Bitcoin gateway for Polkadot. Now, in the 10 minutes that I have, I'll give a short intro on what Polka BDC is, why it is trustless and decentralized, and essentially show a very quick demo of the alpha version, minting Polka BDC, and then redeeming them again for Bitcoin. Now, before we dive in, a quick intro on Interlay. We are an R&D company that was founded out of Imperial College in London. Previously, we were doing research on L1, L2 security, DeFi, and interoperability. Um, I personally started working on Bitcoin and Namecoin in 2014 and have been doing research on this basically since then. We launched Interlay to bring our research into production and essentially received a grant from Web3 to build the fully trustless Bitcoin Polkadot bridge. In parallel, we're also developing our own Bitcoin settlement layer for options and decentralized exchanges, which is also fully trusted and decentralized. But that's for another time. So the BDC parachain is Polkadot's gateway to Bitcoin. So what does this mean? What we want to do is we want to bring Bitcoin to the Polkadot ecosystem and allow all applications and parachains to get access to Bitcoin liquidity. Now, how does this work under the hood? Under the hood, we create Polka BTC a Bitcoin backed asset on Polkadot. So what you do is as a user, you lock your Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain with the so-called vault. Vaults are intermediaries that are fully decentralized and non-trusted. And they're non-trusted because they lock up collateral on the Polkadot blockchain. And this collateral is used to secure your BDC. Now, when you mint Polka BDC, you get a Polka BDC token and that you can transfer to any other parachain. You can use it with decentralized exchanges, stable coins, lending, whatever you want. Once you're done using Polka BTC and should you decide to go back to Bitcoin, you basically burn Polka BTC and then you get your Bitcoin back. Now, and here is where the security guarantees kick in. We guarantee by design that you will either get your Bitcoin back or you'll be reimbursed in dots at a very beneficial rate. So if something really goes wrong, if the vaults fail and you don't get your Bitcoin back within a certain period, you will receive collateral and this collateral will be higher than the current spot rate which basically means you can go and buy back Bitcoin and actually go home with a profit. Now, this bridge is also decentralized because there is no central authority from the start. From the start, anyone can run a vault or a relayer. The simply, you only need a Bitcoin wallet or a full node if you have a relayer, a Polkadot wallet, and some DOT to basically provide stake to secure the system. So the user, you can run your own vault and basically be responsible for your own security. So the only thing that you actually need to trust is that Bitcoin and Polkadot are secure. Now, as for the roadmap, we have been working on this essentially for the past year. Um, the paper itself, Exclaim, which underpins the whole framework, was released more than two years ago at a top tier conference. And we've written a specification, which is a 200 page document, which explains in much detail how this exactly works. There's a proof of concept um, that was released in May. And now we've brought this into a state that it's an alpha. It's nearly production ready. We're finalizing last features. There'll be a beta test net in January. And then final code audits and user feedback. So hopefully from you will be incorporated in February. And then we're planning to launch subject to parachains being ready end of February, beginning of March. Now, as mentioned, the alpha test net is live. So let's actually take a look at how this works. So. When you go to the alpha testnet um, and you basically want to issue Polka BTC, you'll go on the issue page. And as you can see, I've already prepared to Bitcoin transactions because this takes a bit of time to be executed on the Bitcoin blockchain. So let's walk through the process. If I want to issue Polka BTC, I'll enter the amount that I want to mint. And keep note, this is the amount of Bitcoin that you will have to send to a vault on the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, in the background, a vault is allocated to me. This is currently handled at a random, on a random basis. And then I'll confirm my parachain transaction, sign it. And now what happens in the background is that we reserve the vault collateral. This means I now have the guarantee that if I send Bitcoin to the vault, it will be secured by collateral and that I know that I will not face any financial damage. 
Now this will take one or two more seconds to get confirmed. And then I receive this information here. Now, there's a lot of detail, and this is for testnet because Bitcoin testnet does not support, not all wallets support Bitcoin testnet, but essentially on mainnet, you will see a QR code here, which you will scan, or you will basically sign this with your hardware wallet. And that is basically it. Now, what I can do basically is I can make the Bitcoin payment in my Electrum wallet. I basically pay, sign, and there we go. Now I could provide my TXID, but I don't have to, because what we do is we run a chain relay, basically an SPV client that is deployed on Polkadot, and that will verify your transaction. We can track your transaction through a unique ID that we include in it. And if you take a look at the Blockstream Explorer, this basically looks like this, right? So we can see the transaction, and then there is this thing called an operator turn output that will allow us to identify your transaction. Now, if we now go onto the redeem page, I can now redeem Polka BDC by simply specifying how much Polka BDC I want to get out, searching for a vault that has sufficient collateral, entering my Bitcoin address, and that's it. I sign the Polkadot transaction, and I will now receive Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. If the vault fails to do that, I can take its collateral and be basically reimbursed. Um, alternatively, I could also wait for some time and try with another vault if I really want to get the Bitcoin back preferably in BDC, but essentially, no matter what happens, I will not face any financial damage. And there we go. This is now being processed. So back to the slides. What's next? So right now we're doing final testing of the Vault and Relayer clients on Alpha. We'll be releasing those in short time. Then you'll be able to run your own Vault and Relayers as you wish. We're integrating with oracles. We're finalizing hardware wallet support. So you'll be able to sign Bitcoin transactions using a hardware wallet, which of course improves security. There's an audit already going on starting next week. And then this will continue until February. And then we will launch the system. However, there's a lot of things going on in the research side as well. In fact, we've been working for two years on the Xclaim 2.0 version, which improves this protocol significantly and gives us an advantage over essentially all other bridges in the system because we're able to prevent theft during 90% of the time um, while Bitcoin are locked on the Bitcoin blockchain. And this way we're able to reduce collateral requirements by 90% for vaults, which makes this, makes this whole thing way more capital efficient than any other design. Now we're also working on parachain integrations and planning to integrate as soon as possible with other applications. And finally, last but not least, multi-Oracle support is of course also something that we're looking into. That's basically it from my side. Please go test Alpha because we're building this for people on Polkadot. Your feedback matters. Glad to take questions. Sure. So, uh, excellent uh, presentation. Appreciate uh, you running through because we're a few minutes behind. So we got time for one question. Um, so we're looking through the list here. I was thinking we could take the top one right now. Uh, will the transaction fee be paid in BTC like a regular BTC transaction? How does that interaction with the, the Bitcoin blockchain work? So this is still subject to being defined. And of course, initially for Bitcoin payments, you will pay transaction in BDC. However, this can be then reimbursed directly on Polkadot in Polka BDC. Vaults by general earn fees in Polka BDC, which is the wrapped asset. So they can choose to keep it on Polkadot or to go back to Bitcoin. Awesome. Thank you very much, everybody. We're going to jump into the next session now. Uh, we'll see you over there. Take care.